And he came to me one day and he asked me, he said, Thomas, do you know why cooks cook? I'm like, okay, I'm trying to think. He said, we cook to nurture people. Hands, 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 please. Hands, 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 please. Wear are hands. And I think what I've learned over the years uh, in all the places I've worked is uh, people don't remember the food. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's the people that they remember. Peace. Peace. Totally peace. Like, like a bass, right? What? Like a piece of ass, like, like, like on the inside. No, I think about you too much. I don't think about you. <sighs> what is going on? Why does this show have this audience score? I'm sorry, am I a bloke or something? Did I miss the episodes that were supposedly bad? Don't get me wrong, are we not supposed to be better than this as an audience? Obviously, I am just going to be hearing everybody out in the comments section, but man, I am genuinely concerned that myself and half of the audience did not watch the same show. To a point where I was actually thinking to myself and contemplating rather or not I discuss what I was disgustingly reading in the Rotten Tomatoes audience scores section first because my god was that a mind numbing scroll. And that's not even something that I usually do. I mean honestly only for the true trash movies like Madam Web or that Witcher series spinoff which I know isn't a movie but just stay with me. But that's for the love of the game not whatever this shit is. I guess I was just scrolling through because I was genuinely curious for the sake of wanting to know who was in the wrong, me or the audience score. Was there a vision that I missed? Was there a vision that wasn't connecting with the audience? I don't know. I could not find it. But in order to add some context in my own personal opinion into a debate that I honestly didn't even see coming, you might as well just listen to my yapping first. When I think about a show like The Bear, doesn't matter the season in this instance and in reality I shouldn't even say a show like The Bear because there's really no other piece of entertainment out there like it. A one of a kind show and a vision that I wasn't even put onto until around halfway through season 2. Not because of lack of recommendations but because of my own dumbassery and schedule. As someone who knows absolute shit about cooking, I mean the bare minimum for sure for impressions, but the air fryer is a bloke's saving grace and my best friend. But as someone who has worked in the restaurant, <laughs> rest, <laughs> rest <laughs> so sorry, I feel bad for everybody out there right now watching this video that works at a beat ups, truly the best of times and the worst of times. But as somebody who does have a homie that is a chef, or what I will sometimes refer as Jeff throughout the rest of this video, when it comes to the kitchen at least, the high intensity, stakes, emotions, communication, commotion, temperature, and most importantly, the repetitiveness of it all is no joke. And don't get me wrong, while yes, I was genuinely surprised while watching the first couple seasons of how in depth they were able to capture the almost suffocating atmosphere of what it's like to work in a kitchen, let alone a dysfunctional one with lack of chemistry, communication, hierarchy, and maximum chaos. But what was even more shocking, and for lack of better words, pleasantly surprising, was how incredibly well written and detailed not only our main leads were, but damn near an entire cast of characters written in a way that you, the audience, have the ability to relate to, and characters that are so easily digestible even if you don't work in the restaurant business just because of how rich and nuanced each and every character is. And while it goes without saying that that is also a credit to the actors playing the characters and how engaging and enthralled they are with their character work throughout the entirety of the series, that's what the bear meant to me while I was watching the first couple seasons. Chef Terry said it best so there's no need for her to repeat herself. So when I say that I was genuinely confused at the mid-tier reception that season 3 was receiving, I couldn't really believe it until I watched the season for myself. And after I did complete it in more than just a day because I am not some lunatic, it felt as if season 3 of The Bear delivered on exactly how I have always experienced and took in the show in the past. An extremely character-driven, no, actually 
an extremely family-driven story about the experiences, directions, and lifestyle that is infinitely rotating around the core that is the kitchen. A show that has the cinematography of a visionary and a musical score that resonates with every situation at hand. A show that features stunning and damn near intoxicating eye candy of food on a screen that I couldn't even comprehend the taste of. In an atmosphere that most would never dream of being a part of, while for some, it's the only dream they've ever known. A riveting season that might not have been as anxiety inducing as some of the series' high points, or a season that some might say focused a little too hard on the characters if you can even believe that is a criticism. At this point, if you can remember to what I said all the way back like three minutes ago, I thought season three of The Bear was a fantastic watch. And while usually this will be the point where I talk about the actual plot of the show overall, I feel like there's no need for that in this instance. Seeing that The Bear is a more character-driven show, the narrative overall is relatively straightforward and easy to follow. Think about it more like seasonal arcs in a sense that season one was Carmi inheriting the beef, season two was changing the beef and opening the bear, and season three was running the bear. And while that is an extreme oversimplification, again, because of the bear being a more character-driven show, the subtleties and nuances come more with that aspect of the show. Again, with Carmi being an absolute standout, there are times like say with Killian Murphy and Oppenheimer or Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead or Tony Collette from Hereditary. I know those are pretty specific examples for me, but just for me, those are actors and examples that simply are so locked into their craft and character work to a point where I am just truly immersed into the performance itself. Episode one of this season was a great example of how you can truly conduct in-depth character work in a matter of 30 minutes with minimalistic but direct dialogue sequences, an engaging score, and great cinematography. It was truly one of the most special episodes of television that I have seen in quite a while. But not only with Carmi, with the bear having what some would call an impossible goal and deadline to meet in the restaurant business, it makes it so characters like Sid, Nat, Cousin, and even Marcus and Tina have their time to shine, with Tina even receiving her own focused episode like Marcus had in season 2. It's incredible to watch as characters like Sydney, a character that you have come to know and really enjoy, fight with her struggles of becoming a partner of the hellish environment that she's been at. It's incredible to watch as Natalie continues to be the mother of our little family while actually becoming a mother herself and coming to the terms with what that relationship means for the mother that she has now. It's incredible to watch Cousin's growth, but also struggles of being a co-parent and finding your own sense of worth. Carmi struggling with his past insecurities from his time in New York and the worst, but I guess the best part, depending on how you look at it. I haven't even mentioned how gravitating the food and cooking aspects of the show really are. Obviously, at some point, there was a disconnect between the studio and some of the fans' expectations going forward between seasons two and three. I'm not actually going to go through Rotten Tomatoes reviews because I'm not that kind of YouTuber, and in reality, it was kind of a mixed bag of hypocritical comments like the season was too anxiety-inducing, but it then also wasn't. But from what I could grasp from the majority of the negative reviews, to sum it all up, I would say that the main issue that the fans had with this season was Claire. <laughs> it's so dumb, and it doesn't even make sense because basically what people were asking for was either Carmi go down the character arc of becoming the chef that he hates most, or actually having a natural character progression of a man trying to regain his self-worth, self-respect, and general humanity. I guess that's just the disconnect between the studio and the audience. I don't know, man. I truly commend Christopher Stower because I was looking through his IMDb to see what he has worked on in his past, and yeah, it was a little scarce to say the least, which is pretty wild seeing the level of technical and talented work that he's been able to display as being the showrunner and director of some of the most important and impactful episodes of the series. And while I don't really know what or who is right or wrong in this instance, me or the audience score, what I can say is that I am definitely someone who is willing to stand on business with how incredible this show has been and continues to be to this day. A truly unique, 
creative and original idea brought to life by the engaging characters that live within and the immersive eye candy that is so above my taste buds it's disrespectful so in a ranking tier list that is still a name in progress the bear season 3 was honestly one of the hardest pieces of entertainment to bless the nameless tier list that i even had to review this year i truly did rack my brain but for the sake of craft and integrity the bear season 3 is easily an actual tv show and arguably cinema on the small screen dude it's crazy because that audience score is actually criminal of course as always i want to thank you guys for watching the video and if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this i'll leave a link to my twitter and letterbox in the description just in case you guys want to go check that out again i want to thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy though why not click on more while you're at it otherwise that is all the words i got for you today bye